Scott Convis uh, having fun. My next guests are not smiling. Penny Nance is president and CEO of Concerned Women of America. It's a conservative group targeted by the Clinton-era IRS. Mm -hmm. Carrie Carinder is the national coordinator of the Tea Party Patriots. And what concerns her now is that Sarah Ingram, who was in charge of tax exemptions during the time the Tea Party was targeted, now, as uh, you have probably heard, ladies and gentlemen, uh, heading up the IRS office overseeing Obamacare. Ladies, welcome. Uh, Carrie, why does Sarah Ingram's new job bother you so? Well, Obamacare, uh, the enforcement is going to come out of the IRS, and if the woman who was in charge while people were targeted for their political ideologies goes over and is now in charge of that portion of the IRS, the Obamacare part of IRS, then how do we know that our sensitive health information is safe there? Is it going to be exploited? Is, are we going to be discriminated against again based on our health? I mean, these are life and death decisions now, not just tax questions. So you're fearful that she would breach uh, the most ba basic confidences and uh, use your health information for political purposes as well? Well, she was in charge. I, I don't know if she personally did it or not at the IRS, but she was in charge. And if she's in charge again, how do we know? There's no possible way to know or to trust this woman to know that she is not going to be in charge of another breach of confidence and confidential information. It's very serious. And, and Penny Nance, your, your basic position is that uh, you know, this has been going on in Democratic administrations since the 90s? Absolutely. Uh, Concerned Women for America has a 501c3 and a 501c4. From 1993 to 2000, uh, my organization was targeted and harassed. Same kind of similar story. I mean, it's so amazing, Geraldo. None of us knew that any of this was going on. Everyone kind of kept all of this private, and now all these stories are coming out. There's been widespread abuse going on within the IRS now for decades. And I sincerely hope that Congress and the Department of Justice will go back and look for, for you know, back into the 90s at, at the uh, heavy-handed overreach of the IRS and the harassment of concern excuse me, of conservatives. You know, I frankly believe that this is criminal. I believe that they have violated 18 U.S.C. 241 and 242, which is conspiracy to deprive people of their civil rights. This is viewpoint discrimination, and it's criminal. I certainly hope that DOJ does its job. So what you believe, uh, Penny, is that they've done this, uh, you know, for a generation yes. now. But yes. what about the charge that during the Bush administration, it was the NAACP and similar groups, civil rights type groups that were targeted? You know, I don't know about that. I only know about our experience and what I'm hearing now. Anyone, it, it's wrong no matter who does it. Exactly. Viewpoint discrimination is wrong. The government, under the color of law, harassing organizations, private citizens, based on their viewpoint is, is wrong, and it's even criminal. And, Geraldo, we have, we yes, have Kelly, hundreds hundreds of groups that are now coming forward, local Tea Party groups. My group, Tea Party Patriots, was affected. We were victimized. We were discriminated against. Uh, we, are we are looking at pursuing legal action. But I can tell you, on the ground, these are people who have, over the course of three, four years, have only brought in $1,700. I mean, these are like mom and pop little local organizations. And they were targeted. And there are thousands of people who just decided to give up because they didn't want to go through the trouble of getting harassed or giving out private information of their members lists, their donor lists, things like that. And so really the damage is completely immeasurable. And what about, uh, Kelly, this uh, pointing out that Steve Miller, the acting commissioner, is out. They will undou undoubtedly discipline members of the, uh, the crew in Cincinnati that were uh, evidently the hands-on uh, perpetrators of this wrongdoing. Is that enough for you, or do you think it goes much higher than that, Kelly? I believe it is far, it goes far beyond in breadth and depth and possibly uh, 
in height up through the administration or through the Treasury Department. And I'm sorry, but a guy who's going to retire in a month anyways, who's going to get his full retirement, he's not going to be punished for this at all. So he retires a month early. This has to stop. You know, Peggy Noonan wrote today, if this doesn't stop now, it will never stop. And the next president, whether they be Republican or Democrat, people are going to continue to be targeted and discriminated against by their government. And we are talking about the First Amendment of the United States, of, of our Constitution of the United States. That, that right is is you can't, we can't we cannot allow this to happen i mean i obviously get i get emotional about it you know i'm fighting for i'm i'm seven months pregnant and i am Ooh. fighting for my child's right to free to freely speak when she wants to and particularly on political issues if you can't criticize your government then where are we well, well i can say kelly is congratulations on the coming Thank daughter you. i guess you've uh, you've given it away mm -hmm. So we'll send you pink, uh, pink ribbons. Congratulations on that. Uh, we'll continue to follow. If you do file a lawsuit, certainly uh, we'll, uh, we'll report that. But thank you, Kelly and Penny, both for coming on. Thank Ladies, you. thank you. Thank you for Up having me. Up next, the members.